back down on the vlog because um, sometime uh, next week there are going to be a lot of days when I'm going to be absent. Um, mostly because of work, obviously. I'm not really going to tell you what I do or where I work at because A, I don't really make much. B, if it doesn't work out, I'm gone. And make my YouTube channel work because that's what's more important to me. I really want my YouTube channel up and working, and I really want to post every day. I really want to do all this stuff, but I can't do it while I'm working because there's no internet. What, what am I going to do without internet? I'm not going to do anything without the internet. Ah, so ridiculous. Alright, so basically, this is the issue that I'm having. Guys, they just don't understand. You know, I can't make any money if I don't post any videos. So, not that I'm really making any money off of it right now, anyways. That's not the point. Still, you know, the point is, is that I can't make a career out of YouTube if I'm constantly being interrupted once a month. Okay, it just you can't. You can't. And granted, I don't really want to post videos every single day, but I want to post regularly, you know what I mean? I want to post and post and be able to post and be able to record videos and then set them up so that I can post them, you know, every day or every other day or whatever I want to post them at. And I don't really care if I make any money from it because, well, just because. I mean, I, what other job am I going to get, right? I messed up my hips. Now I really can't do a whole lot. So I can't do heavy lifting like I used to. I can't freaking do most of the stuff that they expect me to do. I have ADHD, so I can't really do customer service. Alright, can you see me doing customer service? Because I can't see me doing customer service. I can barely even deal with my own family. I mean, granted, my married family. The family I'm married into, I can deal with just fine because they're excellent. They're great. They're great people. You know, my dad, he's a he's a jokester. You know, sometimes he gets a little annoying because you know he's my dad. But you know, and I'm talking about you know my birth dad, <laughs> not my not my father. You know, <laughs> let's get that correct. You know, and you know the. You know, my other dad that walked me down the aisle because my real, you know, my birth dad was not able to walk me down the aisle because he was busy working, you know, he worked a lot. I kind of feel sorry for him because he's the only guy that really does anything on the night shift properly. So, you know, it's like, really? Really? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that happened. I can tell you one thing though, if you're ever in Florida, right, you want to call Hank's Taxi Service, okay, you want to call Hank, because Hank's Taxi Service is number one in his area, alright, so if you're, if you're ever in Florida and you, you call Hank's Taxi Service and you find out the areas that he covers, and they should be able to get a taxi to you, you know, no matter if it's daytime or nighttime or whatnot. Because they're a really good taxi service, okay? And I think you should definitely, you know, definitely use their taxi service. I mean, granted, not all of their taxis are the greatest, but if you get, you know, Tim, he's really good. Or if you get Hank, which I don't think Hank does drive. I, I really don't think he does. He might. But if you get one of those two, you know that you're going to be taken care of, okay? And they're even going to entertain you a little bit while you're driving, while they're driving. So, you know, they're good people. They're good people. So, uh, yeah. Alright. Uh, what else did I want to tell you guys about? So, um, since War Vampires came out, uh, obviously you know that because I've been posting videos on my, on my channel. And I do intend to post more. I'm really excited about it. Um, if you haven't already, you'll get to see the vampire toddlers. They are so adorable. I mean, they do the same stuff that regular toddlers do, but it's, it's just 
is really cool. And the fact that there are alien toddlers too, which if you go to Captain Sauce's uh, channel, he's got he's got toddler show on there, which is great. I like it. So uh, yeah, I definitely should think you should check out Captain Sauce too. He's covered toddlers pretty well. I think that um, I think that he was mostly discovering what all the toddlers could do. And um, you know, I've got a video on here that shows you, you know, me discovering all the stuff that the toddlers could do, and the fact that I started using the toddler because it was like, well, the toddler's selectable in this game, so maybe they can do stuff to it. I'd click on the adults, you know, and find out what all the toddlers can do. Because I like to explore the, the social interaction menus and stuff like that, and if you explore around, you'll discover everything you need to know about toddlers in the end, you know. It's no big deal, but, uh, yeah. And I found out that the, the bed it doesn't matter if you get the race car bed or if you get any other kind of bed because you don't get, it, it doesn't seem like you get more of a skill plus to it, if you know what I mean. I mean, it doesn't indicate that you get more of a skill or more, you know, rest from one bed or the other. So I was just kind of, you know, wondering about that. But, um, you know, maybe maybe the Sims will patch it up a little bit later on and they'll fix it to where, you know, the toddlers get more rest in the more expensive bed or they get less rest than the least expensive bed. I mean, I think that would make it a little bit, well, a little bit more dynamic than it already is, but you know what I mean. I'm, I don't say, I don't think that they should make the toddler bed a nine, obviously. What I think that they should do is make a, make the best toddler bed a five, because the five would, you know, get them a little bit more rest, they'd be a little bit more rested, you know. You might get the three arrows with the, the five bed and the one arrow with the cheap bed, you know, when they're sleeping. I think that'd be kind of cool. And the potty train, I think the potty training um, devices, this is Chad, I'm, I'm currently working with them to find out if the potty plus skill is better than the other potty plus skill, but I think that the potty plus skill is the same. So, uh, that's, you know, one of the things that I have to figure out. The block, this is great. I think that, you know, eventually they'll probably come out with more stuff for the toddlers, you know, and, and there'd be more toys and stuff just from the block. I think that they can make like a, a shape game, a puzzle, you know, shape puzzle game that the little kids could play with on, uh, the little toddlers could play with on Sims 4, because that'd be really cool too. Um, what else did I want to talk about? That's the problem with these blogs. I'm just sitting here talking to a camera and I don't really know if anybody's listening. Is anybody out there listening? I don't know. So, yeah, it's, it's, uh, you know, and, and I have my off days too. I have those days when I'm like, I'm recording, I'm like, eh, so we're just going to do this. And, wow, I'm really tired and I'm going to do this. And, you know, and then I have those days where I'm like, really high energy. It's like, I really have nothing to do with myself except sit here and just wonder what I'm going to do all day. <laughs> so, you know, and um, even though I pre-record these videos sometimes and I and I get to the editing portion, you know, I had a problem with Premiere Elements. I figured out how to fix it, obviously, but I had a problem with Premiere Elements. It would um, desync my audio and my video, so my the video was ahead and my audio was behind. I'm like, what happened? Did they put in extra frames? <laughs> so I had to use Windows Movie Maker to fix it. And I don't know how to use the, the Movie Maker for Windows. So, you know, bless their hearts. They, they tried to make it very intuitive and stuff, but I don't really know how to use it. So, <laughs> so I, do, I do like Premiere Elements a lot. I like that I can add titles from there. I can do a whole bunch of other stuff. I can add scrolling, whatever. Hey, you know what? You guys let me know what you what you want. I want to be able to make a uh, intro that's really good, but I'm not really good at making intros, if you know what I mean. So what I want to do is I want a, a pre-recorded intro. I want to do a, um, a pre-recorded outro. 
and I want to start making my videos a little bit more uniform because it's more professional when it's more uniform, you know? And if I have a preset intro and I have a preset outro, then the only thing that I really got to worry about is the stuff that comes before the intro, you know, the little teaser, and then the stuff that comes between the intro and the outro so that you guys will see the whole spectrum of the video. And then you'll see the outro and you'll be like, oh, well, it's done. And then maybe some scrolling credits because I really like scrolling credits. I don't know why. I didn't see. I, didn't see. I mean, it's, it's, I learned how to, um, text around in Premiere Pro, or not Premiere Pro, but in Premiere Element, instead of having to s use the scroll wheel and deal with the fact that it lags, all I do is I, I touch control and then I grab the text and I just move the text up so that I can finish typing and when I'm done typing all the lines of text that I want for my scrolling, you know, credits, I just move it back down underneath the title and it's great. <laughs> and it works just fine. I really like and sometimes I'll have it, you know, be longer, and sometimes I won't. It depends on the music. And that's another thing. I really have a hard time with fitting music in videos, because sometimes I have to make them shorter, and then sometimes I have to make them longer, and then sometimes I have to, yeah, you know. But if I could get, like, a song that's just for me, you know what I mean? Like, like a song that's just for me that I can loop. That would be nice. I'm looping the song. Because I can make it to where it comes in nice and steadily, and then I can make it fade out nice and steadily at the very end. But if I can get a, a piece of music that would loop, you know, it'd, it'd be really, really helpful. Because not all the music loops properly, you know. <laughs> I was like, how do I get this music to loop? But um, uh, if any of you, you know, watch my videos or if you come up with, you know, really good music or whatever that you wouldn't mind me using in my videos, I would, I would totally use it. I don't know about the intros yet, because uh, you know, obviously I'm not good at intros, but. I have a specific idea in mind for my intros. It has to have something to do with a rabbit dragon. Yes. Because that's where Rabbit Den is in one of my stories. I have, um, I actually named the species Rabbit Den. And if you hadn't noticed the whole Draka Goo thing, Draka Goo is, is, um, uh, it's supposed to mean dragon in some other language or something. So it's supposed to be rabbit sand, which is the rabbit dragon, and dragon. Does that make any sense? Because I'm, I'm big into dragons and stuff. And you know, if they add dragons into Sims 4, I would be exceptionally happy with that. I really would. That would be excellent. I love dragons so much. And uh, I like their llama corns too. It's really cool. Now, now if only if only they would make it to where you can make a mythical creature suit in Sims 4. That, that would be amazing. Because I'm pretty sure there would be a llama corn, for sure. You know, and then there would be the, the Sims 4 dragon, whatever they want to make that out to be. That would be really cool. And, you know, maybe the Sims 4 dragon could be a rabbit dragon. Yeah, yeah, a rabbit dragon in Sims 4. That would be awesome. And then, you know, some other mythical creatures like the, uh, I don't know what else could there be? <laughs> I mean, because in mythology there's the Cyclops, there's the Minotaur, there's like a whole bunch of other stuff, and, um, oh my goodness, my allergies are already starting. No, not the allergies! <laughs> so, um, you know, I, I have a lot of fun doing videos and stuff, I mean, obviously I really don't want to have to do them every day. But, um, you know, I guess if I have to, then I have to, uh, you know, and, you know, maybe even I can get my husband into it, because he games too, so if he just records his gameplay, and then I could post his gameplay to some music, and then he won't have to say a word at all, he won't have to say anything, he won't even have to worry about having his face on the camera, 
open up the bunch of games to record new gameplay and we get um an Elgato uh game capture card because he plays on the PS2, right? The PS2. He plays on the uh, Nintendo 64. I know it's a very old system. Um, I don't know if he has a Super Nintendo. You know, bat, uh, blast from the past there, Super Nintendo. But uh, I think that it would be really nice if I could get him on the ball to record some of his um, videos. And you know, he won't have to make a YouTube channel because I already have one. <laughs> I could just you know edit it, put it to music, and then post it on the uh, post it on on YouTube, and then it'll be up there. And then it'll be less work for me because then I won't have to sit there every day and go, I can't play the PS2 because my husband is playing. Instead I could be like, hey, my husband is playing the PS2 and he's recording it for me. Yay! Win-win! And he's really good at it. God, why is he so good at it? <laughs> he's better at playing video games than I am. He plays Kingdom Hearts. Hearts on the PS2. I want recordings of it. I want to be able to post gameplay of Kingdom Hearts and, and Final Fantasy and all these other different games that I really love and enjoy playing, you know? And uh, I really want to get to be able to post them onto YouTube because then I'll have something to do. So I realize I've been rambling <laughs> and I'm really sorry. But you know, the peace that never lies. Um, so, you know, I, I guess I'll go ahead and leave it at that. And um, hopefully you guys have a great evening. Um, it is evening here. I have an overhead light over me so you guys can see me. And, you know, wearing my glasses and stuff. And the glare from the glasses is keeping you from seeing that my eyes are going from camera to the video screen to the camera to the video screen. That's the reason why I'm wearing them. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little episode or whatever, and hopefully you guys tune in for another video. And, um, yeah. Check you guys later. <laughs>